I am uh, Dr. Ramakrishna Ghosh from uh, Mangalatel University, Aligarh. And uh, I am in the Department of uh, Visual and Performing Arts. I am an Associate Professor. And uh, my topic uh, which I am going to talk about is uh, Art, a Powerful Tool for Healing. Uh, to begin with, uh, I'll uh, say that uh, we all know that art has been used throughout uh, time as a means of expression and to uh, record ideas and events. And uh, this is true and we all know it and we all believe it, we accept it. We understand this. And even we all know that drawing is a demonstration of our thoughts. And uh, through, uh, through drawing, uh, through art, we express ourselves, we express our ideas and feelings, everything. That is also true. But the point is, here I am going to talk about uh, something different which is uh, the, uh, the power of art, the healing power of art. This is a new concept which has started uh, in 1940s. So uh, through that we can uh, say that art heals. Art is a powerful tool for uh, healing people, for healing mind and body. And evidence shows that art uh, can have a positive effect of our uh, personality also, of our potential or of our uh, individual character also. And art can be used as a medicine also. And if we talk about the history, then uh, we have seen that uh, uh, Plato was a Greek philosopher. He said that art is imitation. Then uh, if we talk about Benedetto Cross, who was also a, a Greek philosopher, he also said uh, art is uh, intuition. Then uh, we can say that art is uh, creativity, art is beauty, art is a form of communication, art is uh, uh, something uh, very enjoyable, art is fun. So this is okay, this is a very uh, natural way of saying uh, the definition of art. But another dimension is also there, which is very different and which is very new. And that is uh, art uh, is a healing tool. and. Uh, if we talk about uh, Western country, especially in uh, UK, most of the people, more of, most of the researchers, most of the professors and uh, uh, all the great people are experimenting with uh, art, the healing power of art. Even uh, throughout the United States also, uh, the art uh, is used to enhance health care. Uh, it, it promotes public health. At the same time, it supports community well-being also. So uh, even uh, in many nations, most of the people are very worried about uh, their uh, mental health because it affects uh, the body also. And after COVID also, we have seen there are many people who are suffering from mental diseases. So for that, art is a very good tool. It is a very good medium to... to uh, to change their mind, to change their body and uh, it helps to uh, change their uh, concept also and physically it helps, at the same time mentally also it helps. Now uh, if we talk about uh, art to support the health, then I will just uh, say four points I think that is important. Number one is art helps to enhance the healthcare experience and uh, art helps to uh, promote public health. And art helps to, to support community well-being and it helps to foster uh, resiliency of medical professionals. And if we talk about latest and current uh, research work, then uh, I'll say that the research in the area of arts, health and uh, well-being, uh, art in health, it is, uh, it is very limited but uh, it's, it's growing very rapidly. And uh, research, recent research demonstrate that uh, art in health helps to improve the patient's overall health uh, outcomes and uh, it helps in treatment also and it helps uh, the quality of life also, patient's life. So in the end, uh, in conclusion, I'll say that uh, uh, there is no doubt that art uh, facilitates relaxation and it uh, reduces uh, stress. And it is a powerful uh, uh, tool for understanding self. It is a powerful tool uh, for uh, 
self expression and overall it is a powerful tool for uh, healing oneself so it is uh, a wonderful way to help uh, the injured people uh, to help uh, to heal the injured soul also and uh, obviously i must say that art can have a positive impact on the immune system also